Welcome guys! Performance in PUBG has always been a hot topic, mainly due to the game being poorly optimized. And even though the game has gotten a lot of performance improvements, many players are still seeking out to improve their FPS. About a week ago I received an airdrop from Nvidia, the new Nvidia RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. And after having tested this card for a week and having benchmarked the card in PUBG, I'm now ready to bring you the results of the test and show you how it directly compares to my old card, the 1080 Ti. But first I want to tell you what this card is all about. The RTX family of graphics cards are based on a new architecture called Turing and are able to perform real-time ray tracing, which is a super demanding form of lighting that will give games an incredibly realistic look. Gaming in high resolution is also taking a big step up with the RTX cards, as they promise to deliver a stable 60fps in 4K. This isn't however relevant for PUBG, as you should not compromise your performance on graphics too much. The graphics cards also support Deep Learning Super Sampling DLSS, which is a new rendering technology that improves image quality by using AI. I've always recommended anti-aliasing on Ultra in PUBG which does require a lot of power, but with DLSS you will be able to pick that instead of AA and get smooth edges without a big loss in performance. DLSS is not yet supported for PUBG but is on the list of upcoming supported games. Having used the card for about a week now, I can easily say that this is the smoothest PUBG experience I've ever had. But without data, you're just a person with an opinion. So let's test the card and get some data. The PC used for testing is running an i7-8086K, 32GB of 4000MHz DDR4 RAM and a 1080Ti or a 2080Ti respectively. All the tests are done at 1440p, as that is the resolution I use in PUBG, and as mentioned, the 2080 Ti is designed to perform well at higher resolutions, so we should definitely see some improvements. In order to test the cards, I ran multiple games where I measured the frame rate over a fixed part of the game, and I also measured the frame rate over an entire match on Sanog. This is benchmark number one, performed on ultra settings to stress the cards the most. In this test I measured an average FPS for the 1080 Ti of 85, which is not bad for Ultra at 1440p. But the 2080 Ti managed to exceed 100 FPS and ended at 108, which is an increase in performance of over 20%, as my FPS went up with an average 23 frames per second. In benchmark number 2 I got a similar result, and performance increased by about 20%. And again, the 2080 Ti surpassed 100 FPS on ultra settings in 1440p. Finally, I tested a full game, which lasted for about 22 minutes, and the results were almost exactly the same as the smaller tests. I also overclocked the 2080 Ti and ran this test again to see how big an impact it would have. After having performed the overclock, I benchmarked the entire game again and now got 108 FPS, meaning that I increased the performance of the card by another 5%. So overall, the RTX 2080 Ti is about 20% more powerful in PUBG when compared to the 1080 Ti in 1440p. However, that is likely to increase even more, because DLSS is not yet supported in PUBG and I would be surprised if we don't see at least another 10-20% to increase in FPS. But we will have to wait and see for when the support comes out, which will likely happen within the next few months. So for now, a 20% increase in FPS is great, but the price for this performance boost is also quite high. So if you only play PUBG, then upgrading from a 1080 Ti to a 2080 Ti is only something I recommend doing if you are very serious about getting the best performance and the most out of your game. The 2080 Ti is no doubt the best card for PUBG right now, and now you know by exactly how much. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, subscribe to the channel for more PUBG content like this, and I'll see you guys next time.